Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Hamplight and today we're at the giant sign for Hermit Thrills in the Nether because we are going to be working here yet again today because I have tweaked a little uh, few things at my Symmetry Sushi um, a little shop thing back here you might be able to tell the difference already the mouth is actually open right now which it shouldn't be but sure but look in the live stream last night, we did this, which looks awesome. Let's quickly do that. We also changed the sushi to look, make it look a little bit more sushi-like, perhaps, uh, with the green and the pink. That should be kind of cool. And we changed it to clay, made it a bit taller, made it more square, and I feel like it works a whole bunch better. Uh, we are going to tweak the mountain a little bit around there to make it look like stone all the way around, so that it's kind of in the mountain rather than kind of out of the mountain a bit, because it looks a bit fake at the moment, but... Sure, so we now need to do inside here. Now this is very much planned for something in the future. So we need to build this area in here before we can put anything in here. That's a little bit of a hint for you guys. And uh, in here, last night, while I was doing the live stream, you know, building this thing, I was like, you know what, if anyone has any builds that they want me to build in here, uh, any sushi room designs, then go ahead, send them to me, and I might build them. Now, one person, um, who I wish I knew the name of, but I'm going to catch it in a second, uh, sent me a super awesome design. Now, I'm going to tweak the design just quite a bit, actually, but I do believe it looks awesome. It's a very, very nice setup, but, you know, basically they've got the kitchen in the middle, and the chairs around the outside, so I wanted something simple that would fit in, you know, a room of not much bigger than this, maybe a little bit more square, perhaps to about that size. Yeah, we could maybe make it make the design work in here. And uh, yeah, I thought it would be kind of awesome to feature one of you guys in this again, since, uh, you know, uh, my inspiration for this build as a whole uh, came from uh, Horan. So um, yeah, so um, I'm kind of mixing it up, doing a little bit of uh, viewer-inspired stuff here and there, which I really, really like to do. And, um, yeah, so we're gonna get on. I need to go collect a whole bunch more materials. I already have quite a few in this chest over here. Uh, we're gonna be using these blocks, but also we need a bit more red, a bit more orange, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go collect a whole bunch more things, and then we'll come back and finish off this Symmetry Sushi Restaurant for Hermit Thrills. Okay, so we've planned out the room, so let's quickly head in and take a look. Now, I actually continued this here because it's like... It's almost kind of like the tongue uh, just like continues all the way back uh, into here. Now this is the little kitchen area. It is only going to be small. Thinking I could put a mirror there if I want to. Don't know if I want to or not. Or maybe we'll leave that area perhaps for the live stream tonight. And uh, uh, yeah, so and it will actually be tonight uh, as I record this video. If you're watching it the day that it goes up, it will be probably about now. But um, yeah, so this is the room. Now it's very, very small. But I've tried to just kind of make it quite, you know, give it, give it a different shape that rather than just a square room. So these little areas here are going to be little, like kind of big, bigger seating areas perhaps with a corner chair uh, and a bigger um, table in the middle, uh, which I think will be cool. And now we need to kind of work out how we're going to do this. Now I've got some acacia wood, which I was going to use for the floor because that is what they have done in the design. But I'm not really keen on being... Uh, well, everything being orange, I don't think it'll work too well with the rest of my design. So I, I kind of kept with the grey theme for the floor on the, with the andesite. But in these little areas here, I thought that these would be a perfect size, perhaps, for the chairs that they they made. So a chair, a chair's like that, perhaps, and uh, chairs like that. So there'll be a table in the middle. So there'll be two little private chair rooms there, and then in the corner here, I guess it could. No, I don't even make enough stairs. That's not helpful. Uh, let's make a whole bunch more. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, perhaps. Uh, we could... We could go with something like that. Maybe. M wrong way around. Maybe. Hmm. That looks kind of cool, actually. You know what? I don't mind that too much. Maybe make this just go one more. Or even to the end there. Not quite sure. Let's have a quick look at what it looks like front to the end. Right there, look at that. That doesn't look too bad, actually. You know what, if I put a table in there, that'll look quite nice. I'm going to add a whole bunch of cool things to the wall, though. A whole bunch more detail. And uh, that is something I need to work out now. One being water. That is definitely what we're going to be putting. Uh, what do I need to put here? Uh, please wait to be seated, I think is what I'm going to put on there. Instead of here, where is where, uh, which is where... Um, the person actually put it, but 
I should actually say their name. Uh, their, their name on Twitter is Sweet and Vicious, I believe. Uh, that's how it's pronounced. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank them for the design again because it is very, very cool and has given me the inspiration for the, for this. It's, very, it's This does look quite a bit different right now, but um, definitely the seating areas are very much inspired by it. And uh, yeah, I need a whole bunch more materials and we're going to hopefully make this as cool. So I'm going to put all the seats down and things like that and then we're going to start on the wall design. So since I have a limited amount of time on these designs in here, I'm actually going to do a little bit of a lazy trick here. Now this is quite nice. Now I like to put... Oh, I may or may not have messed up. I'm going to have to replace that with stone and I don't have any on me. Ah, no, that sucks. But what I'm going to do is, because you're not going to be able to see the lighting there, rather than put my usual redstone lamps or something up there, I'm just going to put torches a little bit higher than they're meant to be. And there we are. That's what it'll look like. So the other side should look the same. And I'm going to put, be putting some glass or perhaps some leaves in front of it. Since the one on the right is done, let's quickly try out some leaves. Now, I quite like it like that, open. But I also really want to... Yeah, I really want to add some greenery to it. So that looks quite nice. And I'm actually going to be putting cobble around the area. Just because it's underground, I want it to look kind of cave-like as well. I don't know why, I've just suddenly decided that that is what I want to go with. But um, I think it looks awesome. And again, we are using my favourite colour scheme of orange, blue and green um, in Minecraft. I always use water, leaves and then something orange. Uh, usually pumpkins, but uh, today no pumpkins. There are redstone lamps. Look at that. Redstone lamp. I'm using them. I'm using only because I had some spare. I already made up. If not, I wouldn't have used them. But um, yeah, that looks pretty awesome so far. I'm excited by this project. And literally, I'm giving myself like a limited amount of time on it, which is quite fun. I feel like it's quite a challenge. And um, yeah, I've only got about half an hour left on the project, so I get a better get sorted. And uh, yeah, I've got a whole bunch more things to add to it. Well, funnily enough, I'm actually not too far from being finished. I've added some super awesome detail though. I've been fiddling around with this. This looks pretty awesome right now. I like the design. We've got these on the ceiling here and here, which I feel like they kind of work like a little bit of a fan almost or something in the ceiling. You know how sometimes restaurants will have fans specifically just over the, the, uh, the, um, oh, actually, we might use, let's see if we can use some green. Uh, on some of the tables as well, perhaps. But um, yeah, so they'll have fans just specifically over like certain tables or something. Um, oh, I think I need some string, right? Does does carpet still sit on top of string? It seems really like a really random thing that they're probably going to take out of, a, of Minecraft at some point. I don't know if I've actually got any string here. I might have to go hunting for spiders, which is something that I love doing. I love hunting for spiders, my favourite my favorite pastime. But um, yeah, we don't seem to have any. I don't know if there's going to be any down there. There might definitely still be some down here. In there, no. Or we still have a little... I keep forgetting about this little area here. I've got like loads of chests down here. These are all uh, the things that were where the tent is right now. I don't know if we have any string. I feel like I was looking for some the other day and we didn't seem to have any. Nope. Sadly not, that sucks a little bit, but I'm sure I'll find some somewhere, so I'm going to have a look around. So I'm probably going to head over here to my little uh, temporary base um, in Hermit Ithrals and uh, check if we've got any in here. Well, I wish I recorded it, because what I did was when it was night time, I came up here, I thought, you know, I've got some chests over here, there might be some string inside. There isn't, there's no, no string at all over there, but there was a spider chilling right here. I kill it with, I guess, my looting sword, yes, and I get a four string, which is exactly what we needed to finish off the area, which is so, so lucky. It's ridiculous how how crazy it was. He was just chilling there, waiting for me to kill him, which is awesome. Anyway, we have finished. The only thing I want to add is some um, item frames behind the torches and uh, little slabs or something in there to make it look like they're being held up, but that is it. I'm so excited by it. I think it's such a... This is a compact little design, but the fact that, you know, not everything is in sight right now. Some things are hidden behind here, some more private tables that you can sit on. And they are quite private as well, you know, you don't need to necessarily... You can't really see too much from here, which is quite nice. I, I really, really like that. I think it is a really nice addition, actually, and a very, very simple. Now, you might be wondering, a few people have said, you know, why use this area or whatever. Um... Here, you know, there could have been a game here or something, but uh, Biffa's base is actually not too far back there, so I didn't really want to build too much. Obviously, you know, don't, don't want to go too far that way because of his base. You know, we've already got the cloakroom thing there, we've already got this here. Uh, there might be something here in the future, perhaps a stool or something, but in general, this kind of area 
Uh, we can't really do something that's going to be too too long in there. So any other design ideas for this mountain possibly? Feel free, like this design here maybe. Um, maybe we'll add something there in the future, I don't know. Um, but yes, uh, and I think it looks pretty cool. So there I am, eating some sushi. I think the face looks way, way better. I think we do possibly need some, um, some lighting. Uh, if I could have put the eyes back one, I could have put the lighting underneath them somehow, but I've got a feeling that will look very, very odd indeed. So maybe we'll just also need to be very careful of the, uh, of the ice. Now, if you haven't noticed already, it's very, very hard to see, but I do, do have a cracked goggle, if you can see that right there. Look at that, there's a spiderweb in that goggle right there, which makes it look cracked, which is awesome. I, I love the idea. I think it looks really, really awesome. I think it looks really well. The only thing is, it is a shame that you can't really see it from here. Maybe from over here? Possibly. Let's have a quick look-see. Yeah, you can kind of see if you come from this way. Very, very subtle though. Um, but yes, I'm so, so happy with the design. I think it looks way better. Um, and I like the fact that two of you guys, two of you guys watching have had... Uh, have given me direct inspiration for these these things in here. Now this this does look quite a bit different from the one. I'm sure I'll link the tweet down below as well. So if you do want to see his design, I didn't necessarily make this room as big as his one, um, and also I missed a few things out. But just a few of the little ideas that he had, um, I featured in there. And the same with Horrent's design here. I've tweaked it since since the original design, but I still think that it, it has that vibe about it that was that kind of made me want to build the thing. So anyway, that is it guys for this episode, sadly, but you did see right there, look at that! Look at that! I'm gonna twerk in your face, look at that! There's a, there's a Minecon cape I got midway through this episode, which is awesome. So, that is super cool. Definitely leave a like if you have enjoyed this episode. I know it's been a short one, but, you know, it needs to go up today. Um, and it was just kind of a little mini episode of Hermitcraft, which is which is quite nice to do now and again, especially since I have run out of time for today. But that is it, guys. I hope you guys like this little Symmetry Sushi. Let me know if there's anything you think I have missed in here. There's definitely going to be one little addition in that glass area. I'm sure you guys will have guessed it already, what will be added there. But that'll be in a future episode at some point. But this is it for Symmetry Sushi. Uh, for now, and that is it guys, thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!